Elves, old, tired, broke. Bestrals, though, new, shiny, the hotness. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and welcome back to the channel. Unicorn Overlord. Hello, everyone. As always, if you enjoy my coverage of Unicorn Overlord or any other game that you have ever seen me do on the channel, or that I might do in the future, a like on this video and a subscription to the channel would be very much appreciated. We are nearly at 20k! Can we push through in the next couple of weeks? Let's find out. I'd love to see it happen. Thank you so much. So what is the topic of the day today? Well, seeing as how we have just completed Bestorius in my previous stream, if you're watching this at time of release anyway, I wanted to take the chance to talk about Bestral Units. Recently, I talked about the Elven units of Elheim and how they were kind of perceived as being underwhelming, even though they do have a lot of things going for them, especially once you consider the unique classes of the Elven sisters. But even just the generics feel underwhelming and kind of like they're at odds with themselves because they're split physical and magical attack and all that type of fun stuff. But once you can get into the nitty gritty of it, they actually are very capable. They've got a lot of good use cases and I'm using a fair number of them in my squads now. However, as soon as you step foot in Bastorius, you see that there is a diametric difference between the way Bestrals work and the way Elven units work and the quality of that functioning. And seeing as how if you're following the kind of intended path that Unicorn Overlord lays out for you and going from Cornea to Drakenhold to Elheim to Bastorius, you're going to wind up running into Bestrals right after you're done dealing with Elves. And man, is that a stark difference. Compared to elves that have specific use cases, they're a bit more narrow in what they can do because of their general capability, which I know is kind of a weird statement to make, but like they have a few different types of things that they like to do, and they're very good at those things, and they can fill different types of roles in those niches, but you can't just slap them into any squad and expect them to do well. Best rules are the complete opposite. I can take, and I say this with absolute confidence, any Bestral class and slap them into pretty much any unit in my squads, and they will perform better than if I did the same with an elf. Now, can you specialize to make these things better? Of course. Are there specific roles that your Bestral units want to fill? Of course. But just the raw power that these classes bring to the battlefield cannot be overstated. So how do the Bestrals work, if you aren't aware? Basically, Bestral units are already capable combatants during the day. You're werefoxes, you're werewolves, you're werebears, you're owls, and in the case of Marard, a were lion who's just a berserker, but better because of the Bestral bonuses that they get. They all are quite capable combat units. Where owls in particular are devastatingly powerful support units, where bears are insanely strong frontline tanks, and where wolves and where foxes are horrifyingly difficult to deal with sometimes. They have a couple glaring weaknesses, as most classes in Unicorn Overlord do, but like the amount of damage that a werewolf can put out, or the amount of evasion that a werefox can manage while debuffing your entire army, cannot be overstated. You cannot underestimate these units, or you will get torn apart by them, especially if you wind up running into a full squad of them, as you often will in Bastorius. The Were Lion Marard is a little bit of a weird case, as like I said, he is a berserker in everything but name. However, he does get one nice bonus as a Bestral unit because he gets the same bonus that all other Bestral units do. All stats increase at night. They also all have Nightwalk. And so what do these two abilities mean? Well, all stats increasing at night just means that during the night cycle of the game, literally every Bestral unit is just going to be stronger arbitrarily because... And it's not like they're underpowered during the day to compensate for that. Like, a Werebear is going to tank just as well during the day as he is at night. A Werewolf's going to deal just as much damage. Well, not quite as much damage, but a Werewolf's going to be just as capable as any of your other characters during the day. Same thing for a Werefox. They just get even better at night. And that stat increase is notable. Then they have their Nightwalk ability that every single Bestral unit gets. That means that they move massively faster, like so much faster at night than they do during the day. Like they move at normal speeds during the day. Werewolves have 100 mobility, where foxes have 170 as scouts, where bears have 50. Like this lines up 
with all of the equivalent classes for the human or elf races. I don't have many feathers yet. We're going to be moving on to Albion today, but, you know, Ocleese, we've seen her. She has pretty much on par stats in terms of mobility. But all of these increase significantly at night to the point that in one of the very first missions in Bastorius, I got annihilated because I wasn't expecting how much faster these units would move and they bum rushed the point that I was trying to defend and killed the NPC that I needed to rescue before I could get to her because they just blitzed ahead as soon as the sun went down. It's terrifying. Add into that fact that they have a bunch of skills that get better at night, say the werewolf's nocturnal strike or the werefox's nocturnal evade, things like that. And it's very easy to see how these units can become devastatingly powerful. And again, you can like compare that to some elves here. It's like, yeah, an elven fencer is good. Lightning Blade is strong. Nature's Wrath is really nice for AoE. You got Sylphic Barrier, Remove Weakness, Evasive Impetus, like a lot of different things that they can do. And the squads that they're in are really good. But I mean, if it came down to brass tacks, give me a werewolf or a werefox or a were-owl or a were-bear over this elven fencer any day of the week. It's pretty insane. Like, werebear teams are in, pff, insanely hard to bring down. Werewolves, I've had moments where a squad of four or five werewolves, all of whom are on six HP, clear my entire squad without taking a scratch if I choose to take the engagement. Literally, we're talking a combined HP of like 18, 24 against... 386 or more for my entire squad and they would clear it literally without getting hit it's insane it's just so wild and again like yeah that's at night but during the day they're just as good as any other soldier like i'm happy to have werefox on my team the ability to have lances that have a lot of good different status effects and aoe hits on them the ability to lock down passive effects guards like hunt weakness if enemies have any sort of tough enemy unit just pierce 50 percent of their defense okay it's unguardable okay shadow pursuit get follow-up attacks and inflicts blindness like this yeah this is a great unit this is an absolutely phenomenal unit and again they've got evades they're basically thieves like i almost wanted to say when i was planning out what i wanted to say for this video in my head that bestial units almost feel like power creep and it's the first time i've ever encountered anything like that in unicorn overlord like I'm looking at werefoxes, and it's like, do I just replace my thieves with werefoxes? And the answer I came to was no, because I have plenty of space in my army for there to be room for both werefoxes and thieves, right? Thieves also have other nice things going for them, like thieves can throw ranged poison, they can steal passive points to fuel their evade and deny enemies their passive abilities, use those passive points for other things. You know, I've been a big fan recently of thief medics, where we have first aid kits, didn't mean to have... I was switching an item somewhere in here. Dimitri's not supposed to have a first aid kit and a large aid kit, but regardless, where they can steal passive points and then use them to heal up their allies. Like, they're pretty good field medics in that regard. And you wouldn't be able to do that with a werefox. But in terms of frontline combatants, like, early game thieves, great on the frontline because they're evade. Later on, not so much. They become a lot more vulnerable. But then you get werefoxes, and they can fill that frontline evade role if you want them to. And they do it quite well, especially, again, at night, where they don't even need to have their evade ability up. Like, this werefox and Karna has had entire rounds of combat where the enemy team has 0%, maybe 1% chance to hit her, and she's just dodge tanked every single attack they've thrown at her, like all three or four waves of combat. It's insane. So I just, I can't overstate how awesome Bestral units are, and how cool it is that you can really just fit them into any team as soon as you get to Pistorius and start unlocking them. Again, like, we look at Antonio R. Werebear here, who <laughs> is the definition of a unit. Look at this, man. My lord. It's like, yeah, okay, he's a tank. He doesn't have good magic, magic defense, accuracy, evasion, crit rate, whatever. But he's got S rank HP, S rank guard rate, and B in strength, or physical attack in this case. Like, And that's with defensive guardian growths. He's doing damn good. And he's got so many strong abilities. He can do single target stuns, giant AOE attacks on an entire row that deal more HP, the more, or deal more damage, the more HP that they have. Attacks that deal more damage the less HP that they have, like super self-synergistic, way more than a Legionnaire in a lot of cases. And yeah, Werebear is not going to necessarily power creep a Legionnaire because you do want your Legionnaires to be able to cover for your allies. They've got row cover to massively increase defense of an entire unit, that type of thing. Bestrals seem to be a lot more focused on themselves. They don't have nearly as much ally support stuff going on, except for Were Owls, which we'll talk about in a second. But like, if you just want one tank to slap into a front line and absorb hits, you can't go wrong with a werebear. 
And that's what's so cool. Like you can get to Pistorius, you've got all of these established units at this point, probably. All these characters that you've been leveling throughout the entire rest of the game, especially if you're following the, again, the quote unquote intended path. So you don't have too much need to completely rearrange stuff if you don't want to, let alone to incorporate something that has a massively different play style. But in a very clever twist of design, the Bestrals can just be slotted in, and they're very self-sufficient, and they really only care about themselves when it comes to their functioning. Yes, they want certain types of support, and yes, again, there's certain squads that they're better in than others, but like you can just put a werebear somewhere, and they'll be just fine. Then, of course, we do have to talk about were owls. I said we were going to, and we will. The raw support capability that were owls bring to the party is insane. Like this actually might be an instance of power creep over something like a cleric. A cleric's gonna have better heals. But where owls have two really big things going for them. First of all, the fact that they are a flying healer, and because they have Nightwalk, they can be a flying healer squad leader that at nighttime especially can ferry your squad around the battlefield at alarming speed. The second thing is that a lot of good healing and support capabilities come from the actual staff and the rod that you can equip, not necessarily even personal skills. Clerics have a lot of good personal skills, don't get me wrong. Our clerics have been some of our most powerful uh, cl characters, some of our most powerful classes. But, like, for Luana the Were Owl, all I have to do is slap this precious rod on her. And now she can heal the entire party and overheal them as needed by a lot. It's insane. Like, it's really, really strong. And that's what's nice about Were Owls is support units are very item dependent. But if you can give them good items, they can do whatever you want. And then the Were Owls have good skills as well, like Aurora Veil, give allies magic defense and HP regen at the same time. Give allies accuracy and at night make their next attack a true strike, like hello? A whole row of allies for one active point, nighttime true strike and plus 50 accuracy if it's during the day, just because you don't always need true strike, but getting it at night, even better. Like extra heal, HP regen and 30 initiative, restore to get, give passive points to people who've used them, quick dispel to remove buffs from a single enemy, which is massively devastating in certain types of situations, circle barrier, reduce damage taken by all allies by 25% for one attack, like where owls are so gross. And again, you can put them into any squad and they'll be happy. Yeah, they're a flying unit, so yeah, you're going to want to consider to have maybe like a fighter or something that can guard them to protect them from arrows, but other than that, man, that's all you need. Like, seriously, get yourself some Bestrals. Put them as a squad leader. Make use of Nightwalk. Give them some decent gear and just watch them rip. Like, it'd be one thing if maybe they couldn't use the same type of equipment as other characters, right? But the fact that you can just take one of your best swords, slap it on a werewolf and say, yeet, is insane. Like, yeah, just give a werewolf the King's Blade Cornix or Notos' sword and watch them tear everything apart. It's it's devastating. It's wild. So uh, I just wanted to gush about Bestral units for a second because, again, like I said at the top, it's such a difference having cleared Bestorius and seeing what Bestral units have available versus having cleared Elheim and kind of having to stop and think for a second about how Elven units work that it kind of really blew me away. And again, I'm not trying to be all poo-poo about Elven units here. Elves are good. I talked about that in my Elf video. Like, they are good, they have a lot of good use cases, and they're good generalist units so long as they're in a squad that can support that. But Bestrals are very different, and Bestrals are very, very exciting in terms of their strategic capabilities. So, uh, pick some of these up if you haven't already. I highly, highly recommend that you do. And let me know your thoughts about Bestrals versus Elves or just Bestrals in general. Uh, we're going to be moving on to Albion, so we'll see how Feather units stack up against them. I'm very excited to see that. There's just so much fun stuff to do in Unicorn Overlord, man. I love it. Uh, that said, though, I'm going to stop rambling. My name has been Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.